based on brand loyalty behavior. And the independent variable of this study is content marketing. Uh, according to the Content Marketing Institute, content marketing is a marketing technique of creating and distributing valuable, relevant, and consistent uh, content to attract and acquire clearly defined audience with the objective of driving uh, profitable custom actions. And uh, we can say a table. Uh, the following table summarizes the findings related to the impact of content marketing. Uh, you can see the findings here. So early studies have uh, shown that the extracted values can positively influence experiential uh, evaluations, which in turn lead to increased brand loyalty in the e-service and the banking sectors. And taking a further step, Lo and she identified a mechanism, value perception through which branded content marketing enhanced brand loyalty. The motivation of users to use social media is the fulfillment they seek. Therefore, to gather the content marketing efforts together, this paper uh, proposes the following dim dimensions for brand involved in social media content marketing, namely functional information, entertaining information, social interaction, brand interaction, and self-concept. And the mediator role of this study is uh, custom brand engagement. Well, some relevant definitions have been given by scholars about custom engagement as shown in this table. And also, <clears throat> the following table show the studies on user engagement behaviors, like this one. And the relationship between social media marketing, um, customer engagement, and brand loyalty has been carried out by Milchad Dell. Uh, we can see the framework in figure four. Accordingly, this paper argues that the three dimensions that constitute a custom brand engagement are building effective trust based on emotions, acquiring brand knowledge based on perceptions, and generating engagement behaviors based on behaviors. And the last one is the moder moderator role of the studies, brand identity. Uh, according to social identity theory, when customers strongly connect with a brand, their personal significance is <clears throat> inextricable linked to the brand's success or failure. And in this paper, um, we mainly based on two theories. The first one is the use and gratification theory. The use and uh, gratification theory has three basic principles. First, customers act, uh, actively seek medium that meet individual needs. Second, consumers have a purpose for their choice of communication. And finally, consumers are conscious of their own motivations for choosing medium. Mm, individuals' gratifications have an impact on how they utilize and interact with media. Understanding these gratifications is crucial for uh, providing relevant content and enhancing brand equity on social media. And the second one is stimulus organism response. Stimulus are external factors that affect an individual's cognitive and affective reactions. According to SOR, um, organisms are internal feeling and thinking activities that intervene between external stimuli and the final action, reaction, or responses by an individual. Finally, the response um, depicts the ultimate decisions made by consumers, which can take the form of approach or avoidance behaviors. The fourth part, new direction for future research. Uh, we develop an <clears throat> integrated framework of content marketing and brand loyalty with the mediating role of custom brand engagement and the moderating role of the brand identity as uh, in figure five. So the framework is read as below, uh, as follows. Uh, first, based on the use of gratification theory, consumers functional uh, entertaining 
self-concept, uh, social interaction, and a brand interaction-based motives drive their decisions to engage with the brand. Second, according to SOR, organisms regulate the relationship between stimulus and response through uh, mediated states and the processes of emotion and cognition. The value of the content marketing dimensions in this study becomes the marketing input of the brand to the consumer and this sales of marketing stimuli causes the customers and organisms to experience changes in the cognitive and affective states of customer brand engagement, resulting in feedback on marketing outcomes of content marketing like changes in brand loyalty. So uh, this study attempts to analyze the content value dimension provided by content marketing from the perspective of human communication behavior and a psychological cognition. As, uh, as establishes the framework, uh, expands the theoretical study of content marketing and clarifies the important role of social media content marketing for brand loyalty and the moderator role of brand identity. So uh, in sum, this study advanced the existing literature on content marketing by providing a more detailed cl clarification of branded content marketing value, proposing and identifying uh, a framework, explicating the process of branded content marketing brand loyalty and uh, proposing and identifying a conceptual framework um, explicating the process of branded content marketing in brand light. That's my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Gong Ruma. Uh, leave it uh, to open to the floor. Any question you'd like to ask? Any clarification? Right. Uh, Hong Ruma, this. Uh, there are a lot of research has been done on this same topic, huh? a lot of research. What is the reason actually you have decided to do on this topic as well? You are muted, huh? please unmute it. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I've read lots of uh, literature about the social media and finally choose content marketing uh, because I think is, um, more and more popular and useful uh, recently, especially in China. Uh, so uh, I saw many frameworks about the um, social media and uh, custom engagement and the brand loyalty, uh, but I don't think any researchers have uh, used the moderator role of brand, uh, brand identity. So finally, I choose these variables in my research. Very good. So you have done this research in context of China. Yeah. Which part of China? Shandong province. All right. All right. You have decided this is a very, what you call a timely uh, need for this research. Huh? All right. Now, your uh, presentation was okay. Very good. Uh, however, some of the areas like uh, your uh, problem statement and the research gap you, you might need to focus and improve a bit more. You, you should tell us, your audiences or your readers, what gap you are trying to fill it up, which you, you have explained it in your conclusion very well, that you have developed uh, the existing literature by adding up a, a branded content marketing, uh, and you also have uh, uh, some other findings. So initially, you should put in your uh, gap also, these are the gaps, and end of your research, you are trying to fulfill this gap. Second, uh, your literature was excellent. Uh, you have done a good job here. However, you need to emphasize on your methodology, right? There are a little discussion on that. So probably you can focus on your uh, method and providing a very uh, more information as uh, I was not clear, so I asked you, in context of what you said in China, in a particular region. So you need to tell who are your populations, eh? how you have done all these things. Eh? The other thing, the other part was very good. Uh, you have drawn a very uh, good findings and uh, your contribution was very clear. So any one of the colleagues here, you would like to ask any question? Oh, so professor, can I ask a question? Yeah, uh, please. 
uh, any suggestions about my framework? Uh, can I add more independent variables in this research or uh, in the dependent variables? Right. You, you can add or not, that will depend on, the, on your literature review. There are literature review suggesting uh, the further research. So you can, you can go ahead and find on that. But whatever you, you, you would like to add as independent variables, you need to discuss with your supervisor as well, because end of the day, he or she will approve. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. So my feedback uh, to that is kind of irrelevant. Huh? Irrelevant in a sense that uh, you and your supervisor need to be agreed upon. All right. Okay. But, as it, uh, uh, as it, in general, it's okay. It's, it is good. You also bear in mind, if you add more variables, independent, mediating or moderating, that also you will need your more time. So in USM, how many years of the research, you know your time frame, because you need to complete your whole thesis within a specific period of time, right? So I will yeah. suggest don't make it too complicated. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't make it too complicated. 